Hey guys, what's going on? It is Dan Lags, and welcome back to my first video of 2018. And guys, we're going to be doing another Danville upgrade today. And I am going to be upgrading the build right behind me here. This is a Rite Aid Pharmacy convenience store. This is a build that I did back in 2013, and it is now five years old. So, uh, well, I mean, not technically, but it was built five years ago. Um, and this one, I mean, it's not the most exciting build in the world when it comes to an upgrade. It's not a house, but I wanted to, you know, do something besides a house here on Danville. I mean, we've done the, the library and we've done, uh, that apartment building over there. And it's just, uh, you know, not just houses here on the upgrades. So we're going to be doing this, uh, pharmacy today. And this one built largely out of sandstone, not super detailed on the exterior. It's pretty much just one block. I added in a little bit of red. Um, for just like the colors of Rite Aid's logo is red and blue and then on the interior It's it's pretty standard, you know it, again. It's not a, it's it's a pretty outdated build. It's it's very dated So we're gonna upgrade. It's definitely uh, in need of an upgrade. So we, we can definitely make some big changes to this thing to make it look a little bit better um, But I'm gonna keep the general concept together here in terms of the size the size of it is actually pretty good I'll probably keep it about the same. My plan is to try to build a parking lot out front. Um, just try to utilize the space a little bit better. I'll probably be cutting it pretty close to this next house over here. Uh, this tiny little red one with the lots of windows. I'll probably be cutting it pretty close to that, but um, try to keep the size fairly similar on the interior and, and keep the layout the same as well. So I would like to have the counter up against this wall and then some shelving in the middle and then a pharmacy in the back. So that's kind of going to be the route that I'm going to follow and just try to add just, you know, a significant amount uh, of detail compared to the original. So that's kind of my plan for this one. I'm going to get started on the upgrade guys, and we will see what I can come up with. So let's get started. And with the power of magic, we've got ourselves a brand new build. So here it is guys, my upgraded Rite Aid pharmacy. First thing you might notice, it's a lot open, a lot more open, I should say. Um, knocked out a bunch of the trees that were kind of covering this build added a parking lot out in front it's not a huge parking lot but i was able to fit in some a decent amount of spaces obviously you know with these danville plots there I, I pretty much used up all the space so there's not a ton of space to work with so i really had to cram it in there and then put the back wall like right up against this house like i said so it was definitely cutting it close there but went with the same principle in terms of using sandstone i went with the smooth sandstone as opposed to regular sandstone since the original build there wasn't even smooth sandstone when I built that so also added in some brick as well and then I tried to create the Rite Aid pharmacy logo with the blue and red didn't put any of like the wording on it I could have put a sign that said Rite Aid but I chose to just kind of leave it blank so just open for interpretation on that front and then as far as skylight is concerned there was quite a bit of skylight on the original I decided to add one small skylight in the kind of the main area and you guys will see that on the interior in a second and then the rest of the roof is basically just you know utilities and things like that so that's about it for the exterior i mean the back walls are all like pretty standard no windows or anything like that there's the employee exit and there's a waste management bin next to the door and then everything back here is just again flat walls just because you don't really need windows on the back of those types of builds since it is a pharmacy so let's go inside and take a look at the interior so walk in right away this um slab thing with the iron bars is supposed to be kind of like the security thing where if you walk out of the store, you try to shoplift, it's gonna ping you and you won't be able to get away. So um, right here we have just kind of the open space and this was the skylight I was talking about. I actually decided to go with iron uh, blocks as the ceiling, which was a reference to the original build since that one did also have the same blocks. Um, as far as the interior is concerned, again, layout is the same, shelving down the middle. If you're wondering about the block choice on the shelving, it was just random. Uh, my, my whole idea behind it was just to add color basically was what I wanted to do So just you know wrapping and you know all this type of types of stuff you would find in pharmacies or like um, You know toiletries candy things like that um, All that stuff has like very colorful wrapping and things like that So I decided to just spam the most colorful blocks in the game on the shelving and that would just give it a little bit more You know a little bit more variety when it comes to the color palette inside of this pharmacy so same concept right up against the counter here. Just assume that's like a bunch of different candies. And then of course we have the counter there. We have the register, everything like that. Um, and you can actually enter into the counter right there in the corner. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Back here we just have some refrigerators for drinks and things like that. 
we have the men's and women's bathrooms, which I think I just made them exactly the same. In fact, I have like a little mirror that runs through from one side to the other. It, it's a good little uh, optical illusion you can create. So it kind of looks like it's, you know, mirroring back into the own room, but it's really just the same one on the other side. So it's a cool way to do uh, bathrooms if you're you know, trying to fit them into a small space. And then right back here, we have the pharmacy, which again, pretty simple, just did some shelving and a bunch of different assorted items. So I have a couple of faucets back here, brewing stands, just things that I thought would fit uh, the most for like a pharmacy build in Minecraft. And then right back here, this is just the employee room. So we have a table with some benches, a water cooler, some shelving and a refrigerator for, you know, maybe their lunch if there's something like that. They're on lunch break, they can put their lunch in the refrigerator. We'll go back into the main part of the store. Again, that door over there just leads out to the back like we showed earlier. It's supposed to be an ATM machine right there. That was, that was a, you have to really use your imagination on that one. And that's pretty much about it for the interior of this thing. Again, uh, when it comes to color scheme and layout and block choice, tried to keep it pretty similar, but overall, I think it's a pretty significant upgrade. The original definitely needed a lot of work. It was really bland, not very detailed. Uh, this one, I think, checks those boxes off. Definitely adds a lot more color. Um, I think the brick is actually makes a, a pretty big difference, and this kind of front part of the build is definitely my favorite. And I was able to fit in a parking lot right here just fine. So with all that being said, guys, that's going to wrap up today's recap. I know it's not the most interesting build in the world doing a pharmacy, um, but it was definitely one that needed a, a revamp, and I thought it turned out pretty good. So thank you guys for watching this one, first video of 2018. I'm going to be back pretty soon for another Dan build upgrade. I'm actually working on one right now, so hopefully we'll have another one out very soon. And uh, we, I hope you guys are excited for that. I love making the Danville upgrade videos and you guys seem to really like them as well. So it's uh, something I'll just continue to do as long as there are builds to upgrade. So thank you guys for watching. Drop a like if you did enjoy the video. Let's go for 400 likes in this video for the next upgrade. That'd be awesome. And guys, thanks for watching. It's been Dan Lags. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.